Okay guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, today I will talk about something very basic. Um, I will talk about the receivers and this information is very very basic. So it's not something for uh, someone who already knows um, basics. Um, skip this video. Um, I am making this video because I had a um, few messages asking, the guys who are asking me, oh, where to... Um, where to attach this um, um, wires, how do you know where to attach this receiver's wires and why black goes there and red goes there and so on. So in this video I will ex uh, explain this very basic um, basic information on uh, receivers to the, to the, to the guys uh, who want to start to get into this hobby and they don't have anything at all, they don't have any knowledge and um, sometimes maybe it is confusing. Right, so First to mention is that most of uh, most of receivers now they have three pins. Hmm? They have three pins, and um, some of the receiver they do have many pins there. And um, the main reason why they do have three pins is that um, now um, it is enough just one one pin which is responsible for signal so this one pin can control all of the um, um, can control the drone so through one signal we control everything we control um, directions where it flies we control I don't know the LED lights uh, we can switch them on uh, or uh, you know um, switch them off uh, we are controlling the flying modes and so on. So normally you're gonna see three pins and obviously most of the receivers they do have three pins now because of the size. So if you're looking for the mini drones, racing drones or micro drones, most of time if you buy a specifically a specific uh, like smaller receivers specifically made for these uh, models, you'll see three pins. So these three pins need three wires to be attached to them. So normally these three wires are of these three colors. Red, black and white. Easy. So what is red? Red means positive. Positive it means we give energy, we give sorts of, it's that, that gives an energy to, um, to the receiver so we can power the receiver. So this is positive and it's plus. Basically it can call it positive or plus and this is a sign normally signed as positive or plus. Then another Y is black and it means ground and it's minus. And that's a sign of minus. This is how they are signed normally. The third Y is white. Normally it's white, sometimes um, it is of different color but normally it's white. And it means, white means signal. And this sign, we can off, very often see this sign on the receivers too. And this sign means signal. Signal means white wire. So, as an example, I have here um, Radiolink SBUS um, uh, receiver. Uh, when we get receiver, we can always you can always try to uh, see what is on the top, what is on the bottom, because there's some uh, useful information maybe there. So we can know from here it's 10 channel SBUS, right? So we have three pins. So now the question is where the black wire goes red and white. Where the positive goes ground and signal. If I turn around I'll see a sign of signal here and there is a sign of minus here. See? So we know that uh, uh, signal is white uh, minus is black wire and we left the middle one. There is no sign of the plus here, look. But because we use our common sense, we know that the middle one is positive because it's left for positive, right? White, red, black. Signal, right? White. White, red, black. Here you go, that's it. The wires are hooked. 
right in a right order. See? All right. Sometimes we may come to the, some situation where um, we do not have any information on the receivers at all. So this is another receiver. And look, because it's probably so tiny, or maybe they do not care, I don't know. There is no um, signs on it at all. So where, how do I know where to solder the wires? You can get it from manual or scheme. Each receiver will have a little manual or something, something like a scheme. So uh, it's going to be in the package or on the package or before, uh, if you are completely uh, new um, to this hobby, you don't know anything. Remember when you buy a receiver uh, from these online stores, always ask them about the manual and um, scheme. Do you have manual? Do you have scheme? Is it in the uh, in the included in the back uh, in the package, or is it uh, there is some stickers on the package, or there is something online? It's very imp important. So, look, this is this receiver comes in this bag. So what I can get from this bag here, I can get some useful information. Oh, it's the DSM type receiver, DSM two, input power three to three. 0.6 volts so it means if I power it with less than 3 volts it will not work that's not enough it will if I give more than 3.6 volts it probably will burn right okay that's useful information we have here grams and if we turn around then we'll see a little scheme here so if we have a look closer they will say and a and T, A and T. Look here, something comes out, right? A and T means antenna. And then we have three soldering pads and some information here. So if we have a look at the top one, this soldering pad here, it says G and D. G and D stands for ground. That's black wire. So we know that G and D is ground, black wire goes here. Then it says something BDD. I don't know what is BDD myself. Then I skip it and I go further. The bottom one, this one, says data. So normally data is signal, right? Because signal is used to send something, to send some information. So it means here go the white wire. And we're left with the red one, which is in the middle. So black, red, white. And look, black red, white. So that's very easy. So now we, we, we can, you can easily find where to um, solder or hook the wire, the three wires, which pins are responsible for what? Uh, three pins or three soldering pads, right? So that's, that's very, that's very, um, very easy, pretty easy to find something on the ma on the receiver maybe there is a manual some sticker or scheme online all right so that is part number one